You glance my way before you step within Your sigh and I shine in the cold setting sun Wave goodbye But you look through me Why don't you look at me? I've tried to be as open as I can Why don't you look at me? I'm tired of being the invisible man The Invisible Man Why don't you look at me? I've tried to be as open as Okay, I'll give this show one more try. Nothing can be as bad as the last show. Actually, nothing would be better than the last show. <laughs> The Invisible Man Oh, the Invisible Man Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Invisible Man. This is the season finale, our... uh, Summer finale, middle, mid-season, you figure it out. Um, of course, I'm joined, as usual, uh, with uh, Ryan Jans. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether or not we should allow everybody to know the kind of bedlam that was going on in the green room just before <laughs> the show, because it was quite entertaining. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to that in a minute. But I, we, I'm, I'm uh, sure we will. As it's, as it's at my Sorry? expense, we, we probably will. And, of course, we are joined by the other Invisible Man and, of course, the one and only Invisible Ma'am, um, not in that order, uh, Angela R. Campbell and Adam Feezy. How are you guys doing? Yeah, oh, <laughs> Hello, <good>, Mark. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, God, I'm well, disappearing oh, again. I'm disappearing. Adam, I really Adam's am the Invisible Man. Invisible. <laughs> Adam is taking, he's, he's taking the literal approach. He's, he's the he is. Invisible he's man today. taking yeah. it literally. That works. Um, Oh, there he goes. He's gone. There he goes. <laughs> oh, damn, he came back. Um, right. <laughs> okay, oh, so, uh, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> oh, so, God, so I just want to shout out quickly um, to uh, the people who are already active in the chat. So, um, Shalim and Elna and of course, Mutley, who's been here waiting the longest. So, you guys oh, can no. learn a lot off Mutley. All right. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> I'm um, just checking there, see if there's any other names there. If you are watching and you'd like a shout-out, uh, please just uh, say hi. I'll see your name pop up, and then I'll give you a shout-out. There we go. Yep, and Elna says, wow, full house tonight. Um, yeah, so we um, are actually sick and tired of the show. Uh, we are going to take um, about five weeks off, taking off death July. Um, and... Um, that's the reason we're having this this special get together, like just like we did at Christmas. Just want to kind of get together, chat, catch up with everybody, what we've been doing, um, what we have done, what we what we plan to do, and we're really just going to have a bit of a hangout. No real plans. Um, so if you've got any questions, everybody in the audience there, please uh, get them out. I know we've got at least one question from the balcony. I can see them waving, but you'll have to wait. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, how's everyone doing? How, what's uh, the last six months of of various invisible shows. Um, how do you guys feel about uh, what you've achieved? Uh, yeah, it, it's been a bit mad, really. Like, uh, the whole Welcome to the Madhouse thing. Honestly, it, initially, it was uh, my, my dad, who, as you know, also plays drums in Adam and the Hellcats, and our manager, Andy Turner. They kept going, hey, you should, you should try one of these chat show things yourself. And eventually, I rang up Mark and was like, what do you think? Should we do something uh, like a bit more rock based, a bit more British based? Um, it, it hasn't entirely always stayed British, but because um, yeah. uh, oh, uh, we had John Landry from uh, Face of Thorfinns yeah. a while back, didn't we? That's right. Yeah, we, yeah, had, him on that show we had him on the show a couple of weeks ago. On the Invisible yeah, show. yeah, yeah, no, I saw yeah. that. Um, yeah. But no, uh, John very kindly sent me out a bunch of Face of Thorfinns merch. That is Ooh. really cool stuff, actually. He um, gave me some beat, ideas for new Hellcats merch. Um, I've been so lucky with the kind of people I've ended up talking to on there. Like um, Mark <laughs> wasn't there for the uh, first show um, back for season two. I had Nigel Glockler from Saxon. And of course, I phoned my dad 
um, like the day that I knew I was having the interview, I've gone, I've got Nigel from Saxon. I'm really scared. And he's like, don't worry, boy. I'll happily come and interview my, <laughs> my drumming god with you. He, was, he wasn't missing that, you know. But um, uh, Gordon Morrison from Raging Speedhorn was on the other week. Absolute top bloke. Oh, um, obviously, back in season one, like CJ from the Wild Hearts, his butt uh, from, uh, well, ex Prodigy guitarist now with Jane Stark. Uh, that, the, Mark, do you remember that first episode where Giz was just shredding guitar yep. for most? <laughs> yep, for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, as, as in, oh, um, like, ain't, and then he played that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, hard rock classic, Ain't She Sweet, as well. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember a um, friend of mine, uh, the guy who actually produced Claws Out was in the comments, and um, Giz just suddenly let loose this insane solo. I, I think he was like um, trying to demonstrate a couple of the lead guitar techniques, and he's just starting going all over the fretboard. And Alex is just coming in the comments going, yeah, I'm giving up guitar now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I recall. Giz is dead. I think it was that show. Right, it was that show. I think it was that uh, where he, uh, he actually performed a couple of songs, and one of the songs he played it so exactly as it was on the record that we actually got the uh, copyright bots called us, yeah, and flagged um, us immediately. Enemy lines, uh, yeah. enemy lines off. Um, I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. Not for a, not for um, a live, not for a live performance. We get we'll get tagged later. We will get tagged after the event, but during the show we got flagged. Can't believe it. Just how 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 uh, how exact he was playing it. Oh yeah, no, Giz is absolutely tops, mate. Um, it like I'm such a nice guy as well. Um, they uh, Jane and Stark have a new record coming soon. By the way, um, I did tell Giz after the show that we got flagged because he played Enemy Lines so precisely. He couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. He couldn't stop laughing, mate. Uh, because uh, I'm friends with his manager, Chris, as well. He was like, oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, first ever show, and I get a damn copyright strike. Like, <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I got I got a shout out uh, Muttley on the whole Madhouse thing, by the way. I swear, like, his, uh, the, him, his wallet must hate me to be honest, because every week he'll <laughs> message me a couple of days before, oh, who's on the show, mate? I'll tell him. And he'll have bought their entire discography by the time it comes to the show on Wednesday night. <laughs> All right, Muttley, you don't have to do this, okay, bro? I was like, oh, he's a madman. He's a madman. Shale honestly. Shaleem does that too, but he only, he only does that if he likes the music that we're presenting. So... If he likes it, he'll he'll buy it, and I think that's great. I think that's the way it should be, right? Motley buys it before he's even heard it. Who are you doing today, Adam? Oh, yeah, we're doing this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right, all right, all right. By yeah. the way, I just bought their whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, <laughs> Sorry, Motley. I, I don't know if that's I, uh, how you actually sound like. I yeah. mean, there's two two British guys here, so I'm not gonna throw out the really my really horrible British accent. Otherwise, it's just going to be me making fun of Adam. That's really what it's going to come down well, to. Well, right, come on, mate. It usually is. I don't see you often. So oh, you take right, so let me tell you, mate. I was just over here at my aim, right? And so <laughs> I'm talking with, with my mate who's, like, best friends with this guy over here, and he's, like, friends with, like, Jimmy Page when they were playing in Yardbirds together, right? Oh, fuck. Uh, that's... <laughs> Adam, if you ever need a day off, Ryan can take over. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah, to be Spitting fair, he, image, does, he uh... does do a pretty good me. He's like, um, to be he honest. Says, I, I, I'm not going to smoke a pen. I'll have to actually smoke a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I, I'll tell you one thing, though, with doing the Wednesday night shows here at the moment. The temperature in England is just abnormally freaking hot at the moment. Um, and, like, uh, oh, yeah, it was the White Raven Down interview last week. I was planning on going on for about another 20 minutes until I realized I'm absolutely dripping in sweat. And I'm just like, no, I've got, I've got to get off this show right now. <laughs> like, I, um, but no, White Raven Down were a lot of fun last week, actually. Check those guys out. Uh, Motley went straight away and bought their whole discography. They actually gave him a shout out for it. <laughs> it but yeah. Oh, damn. It's, it's roasting here tonight as well. 
It's oh, a bit warm. But uh, <laughs> uh, just for those who don't know, some congratulations are in order to Mr. Jans, being a uh, <laughs> second time father now, isn't it? Yeah, Yay! that's it. That's number two. We haven't. We have not decided if we're going to go for the hat trick and go for a third. So uh, <laughs> that's that's possible, but we'll see. Ryan, the, the third is supposed to be an uh, whoops. An accident. <laughs> well, well, actually, if you're if you're worried so about the, if you're worried about the, the room the photographs are taking, the very first child you have are like fifteen shoeboxes full. The second child maybe maybe two, and the third one you go, yeah, we took a snap when they were born. We don't care anymore. So yeah, don't worry about the space. The, the photograph space is not an issue for the third one. It's true. I, I thought that was. I didn't think that was going to be the case because I do. Uh, I I have um, one of my hobbies is to do amateur photography. So I think, oh no, I'm just going to do it to you know keep my skills sharp and all that stuff. No, no, not not like yeah. a, a third of what my uh, yeah. what I have for my daughter. Well, so. you get busy. <laughs> yes, this is true. When you got a little three year old running around and be like, daddy, 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 and then whatever, right? And, yeah, and, and ways that you can tell that you have you have a toddler or, or like a, a really young child in the house, you're sitting there just doing something. I don't know, looking up something on your phone, right? Like, I I've been looking up some some audio equipment, so I'm sitting there on my phone, just sitting there like this. Yeah, right. and then all of a sudden I hear, "Daddy, I think I have to go poo poo." <laughs> well, go, please. Go. <laughs> call me when you're done. <laughs> but that, that's a typical Saturday morning for me. <laughs> what, what? Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. Oh, done. Ryan, Ryan, have you taught uh, your daughter how to play drums yet or guitar? Uh, she loves to watch me play any of my instruments. Um, occasionally, she'll come over and say, "Daddy, can I play?" And I'll say, "Yeah, okay." So then I'll, I'll I'll sit there and I'll hold like a, a chord formation, right? And so I'll be like C, and I'll go, "Okay, strum it," and she'll go like. <laughs> <laughs> I That's play good. guitar. I'm like, yeah, you got it. <laughs> so what, what? What? She was playing the open, the open E. Come on, man, get us a, get us a mute, know, the, get us just... mute those strings you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you want to get her playing the death metal, mate? <laughs> oh, that'll that'll come. That'll come. I think we got a future metalhead in the in the in the making. I, you know, but you got to get it in there slow because if you if you if you in, get them indoctrinated too early, then they'll tend to rebel. But if you, you slowly integrate. Then it's like, and then talk about okay, well, here's here's this genre and this genre, and this genre, this you know all this. Then you're fine. So. See, with, with me, my dad just kind of pulled out two tickets to status quo one day, and <laughs> went, "Boy, do you want to come to this on the weekend?" And I was like, "Yeah, all right, all right." I was only about ten, and his voice had broken already. Going, hey. Your voice had broken already. All right, I'll come along. Oh, no, like, like, <laughs> no, not like that. I was more like, all right, all right. But, um, uh, but uh, yeah, I've come home and I'm like, Mum, I need a guitar for Christmas, please. <laughs> like, like, oh dear, that was the best that weekend. They created a so, monster. <laughs> so something that got thrown out a couple, was it last week or a week, a week before? Um, someone, Shalim had said he's waiting for me to do a TikTok of baby shark because everything is baby shark when you have small children. Everything. Brush your teeth, do 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 do. Get to bed, do 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 do. <laughs> Shut your right. mouth, do 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> anything. And then it carries over to the workforce. So then you're like working and you're like, face this wire, do 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 do. Terminate, do 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 do. Tell the boss off, do 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 do. Take your pick, right? So it's like, <laughs> So, so uh, Shalim is wondering why he's waiting for that. And as I said before, Shalim, I'll do that for fifty bucks. So, <laughs> oh, give me go. the money, and I'm in. I'll do that because I, I don't have a TikTok. Ryan, I haven't set up TikTok. So, Ryan, Ryan, I'll pay no. you fifty bucks to not do it. How about that? <laughs> All right. You got fifty Adam's, bucks not Adam's to do it, all right? Money. Do we have a seventy-five? Do we have a seventy-five? We got seventy-five <laughs> to not hear me sing. Uh, what else? We got 75, 75, 75 in the comments. Here, we got 100, 100. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, it's, although, you can pay although, me Great British Crown, so Ryan, it's not the same. Right? Ryan, so I, I, um, uh, I actually found a like death metal version of Baby Shark online the other week. Oh, yes. my God. It was so cringe. It was like, Baby Shark, da, 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 Baby Shark. <laughs> like, I, I can't death growl to save my life. It nearly <laughs> killed me the last time I did it, but... <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so uh, I, can't really, 
There was talk of bidding. Your first gig back in two weeks, by the way. <laughs> What's that? Back in two I've, weeks? I've got my first gig back in two oh, weeks. Yes, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, yes. congratulations. Uh, um, so, uh, Adam and the Hellcats opening for Citeria at Legends Live Lounge in Oldham, UK. Sorry, you three. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but uh, re- rest of you, if any of you are UK based, get along there, please. Come on. How long do you have to drive to get to the gig, Adam? Uh, it's about three and a half, four hours, something like that. Uh, that's I rough. Know, I got, I got to lock myself in a tin can with those seven reprobates. Like, oh my god, <laughs> oh my days, what, what's going on? <laughs> Are you getting paid well though? Uh, I'm not sure, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to play. I, 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 I really don't care. I get to meet jackie chambers for the first night uh, first time that night properly he was one of my heroes and um like i get to play so yeah cool i i'm i'm with that <laughs> um although you guys remember that charity single i did uh last yep. year rule britannia um yep. well look adam thistlethwaite from massive wagons a great uk band played on that one of my favorite bands but i'd never actually met him in person until I went to um, the Download Pilot Festival uh, last weekend, okay? I've come out of the bar, just gone and got a drink, and I can see the gate that goes through in the backstage, and I wasn't going to, like, go up to it or anything, but I've seen Adam walk past me. Adam! He started walking over, looking very confused. He didn't know who I was, but I had my uh, hoodie on from the single release with the big Union Jack and all that, uh, and the Hellcat slogan, he's walked out. Easy. You're right, mate. <laughs> it was amazing, honestly. It was so good to finally meet him. him um, met the rest of Massive Wagons as well. Top guys, please, please go buy their album. Mark Lee, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, he's probably already bought all the Massive Wagons. <laughs> anyway. Probably. Right. But, yeah, it was a very long weekend last weekend. I shouldn't really be drinking rum right now, considering how much of it I drank last weekend. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it was great to be back in a field with 10,000 like-minded crazies again. And um, you're, you're so lucky we can't do that here. Well, we only yeah. could because it was a, uh experiment, pretty much. I, oh, uh, so you were part of a government experiment, were you? Yes, mm, I that's know. That's interesting. I, <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, like, if, if I told you the full story, well, we, we won't go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, or, although, I will tell you this, any um, experiment that involves seeing a bloke dressed as Jesus Christ on an airbed crowd surfing is good with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to see uh, pictures that- now. Um, I, I, I will find you some. The there, there are yeah. a few pictures. Um, there's this one picture of him that was taken when he got near the front, just before he got chucked off his airbed and hit the floor, where the sun is beating down behind him, and he genuinely looks like Jesus. <laughs> He's got the halo. Oh, God. oh yeah, oh yeah. Trust me, uh, someone must have doctored it or something, but it was hilarious. Um, thing is, he's managed to crowd surf about 100, 150 feet on this airbed. And he's got so close to the front, and Skindred were playing at the time, right? Now, anyone in the audience who knows Skindred or has seen them live knows that they don't leave anyone standing still, okay? So as this guy's got to about 15 foot from the front, Benji, the singer, has just gone, download, bounce, 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 bounce. Now, he's still moving. There's people here, like, who don't know he's coming up behind him. They've started bouncing as he's gone over the tops of their heads. So he's got launched into the air straight <laughs> off of this head. Bounce, bounce. <laughs> oh, oh he, he bounced. He bounced. He, he, he just didn't come down quite as he was hoping to. <laughs> um, and then a few minutes later, a couple of guys dressed as pirates did the same in an inflatable pirate ship. Like, what's not to love? I've, you know, it, it was it was just insane. Like uh, I couldn't stop laughing, honestly. I think I think all of the music fans who are listening to you right now are just really jealous because we all miss that. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it, look, I I was watching Massive Wagons, right? And a crowd surfer come over the top. Didn't see him coming. He's kicked me in the side of the head. Now, 
before all this, I'd have been a bit, oh, what are you doing, mate? Hey, like, watch it. I, I was very close to reaching my hand up and shaking that guy's hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> thank you for making me feel normal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, n- normal to me is getting kicked in the head by crowd surfers down the front <laughs> of the <bench. laughs> while, while jumping around with people I didn't know. It's like, it started raining on the Sunday, so I bought this really awful, like, almost bin liner poncho, right? And w- within about two seconds of Massive Wagons coming on, everything's gone crazy and the damn thing's all over me. He <laughs> just ripped to shreds. It was absolutely nuts. Uh, um, oh, let's see the comments. No, Shalim, I know Baby Shark, but you're not getting any of it out of me. <laughs> even, even I've got a line. I, I don't often use it, but even I've got a line. <laughs> I seem to remember says, there being Matt another I have... band. I think there was another band that, that you, you, were, you particularly reacted to quite strongly in the green room there, Adam. And it had something to do with an, a certain type of oh. alcoholic beverage and just a little oh, bit more God. Uh, Basically, I huh? started telling these how drunk I got on wine on the weekend and they start singing <laughs> flipping UB40 at me and it's just, no, no, never <laughs> like that. Now, we, now fair, we need to, to be know fair, why. That was, yeah. yeah. I, I, I couldn't tell it. you. I couldn't tell you. I, it, it's just the singer's voice. It just, oh, it's one of those voices that just grates on me. Like, I'm sure they're great musicians and everything, but like, no, <laughs> no, just, <laughs> just not for me. Well, Listen, now we know. But, now we know how to torture you, Adam. Uh, please don't, please don't. What did I do to deserve you people? <laughs> so I just want to send a message there, so. to Kai. I'm going to send a message to Kai when it tell her to start playing that at your next practice. <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess I want to put some like these who needs enemies. <laughs> yeah, so uh, to, so that's uh, your gig up in Manchester. So just so everybody knows, I just looked up. They got the it's uh, 168 mile, miles from Bristol to Manchester by car, two hours and 53 minutes. Uh, for um, people who live in the UK, that's almost you got to stay overnight for when you're going that long. You know, it's like, your, mum, your mum's definitely going to pick pack up, make a packed lunch, and you'll stop four times on the way up. Um, in oh, Canada, mate, mate, that, that's that's how. Now in Canada, that's how far we some people commute. Some people, some people yeah. commute that distance. That's not far. And for my day job, I will drive double that and back in the same day. Yeah, right. That's because you're okay. mad, mate. Thank, thank you, thank you to uh, Mark, our fact checker. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to bring Mark, that out because uh, not put up with anybody's any anybody shenanigans. It he's, is. He's dropping. Say, it is a massive difference in the in the two cultures. Is that everyone's so close, relatively speaking? Um, what? Was it twice the the population in that in the space of a, what's the, what less just a little bit less than Manitoba, the province where we live, but yet everything is such a chore to, to go travelling. But yet here you go. Oh, how far away is it? It's a couple of hours. Oh, all right, let's go. Don't even really think about it. And yeah. Adam says we can all stay at his house if we yep. want to go check it out to. for ourselves. We're going to. <laughs> uh, no, I Everyone. meant you three, not the entire bloody audience. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, oh, we have yeah. a. Okay, I think it's time for the uh, um, the guys on the uh, in, on the balcony to uh, ask a question. Here we are. Hey, I've got a question for the hosts. Why don't you just go home? <laughs> okay, that wasn't quite going the way. I am home. I thought it was. Yes. Yeah, okay, thank I'm you. I'm already at home. <laughs> I'm already at home. I- I'm obviously in my professional podcasting studio because you can't see my flat. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, but, there is definitely not a giant pile of laundry behind that. that oh screen. no, no, no! But, uh, oh. Oh, yes. as, as I looked over, I involuntarily looked over at my pile of laundry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, Mark, really. I can see the the washing machine from where I am, but I can't. It's not running. So, <laughs> uh, it's Mark, fun. tell oh, us cool. about your disco lights. Why are you? Uh, why do you have disco lights in your because home? Because it's party time. Yay! Hey. Uh, well, I, 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 usually have, I usually put these on when I'm playing live music. I bought these, what, a year ago? Because I thought, oh, I'll buy these right after our last live gig, what, November, December 2019. I thought, well, I'll buy these. They'll be nice. Pick a, Joe, a small place like Joe Black. It'll look nice behind us. And then, of course, we haven't played anywhere. And I, just, I re-dug, I was looking through my gig box with all the cables and stuff in. And I thought, oh, I, re- I remember buying this a year and a half ago. Let's start using it. So 
That's what it is. A bit of fun. I have, very, I have very sweet memories of disco lights, actually, because my yep. grandfather, who was a really big music fan and had a huge music collection, um, created a bar in his basement. And all of us grandchildren and his kids would um, go over for parties at my grandparents' place and go into the basement. And he had turned it literally into a disco with the disco lights. Oh. And it was disco era at the time, right? So, uh, yeah, I have really fond memories whenever I see lights like that. I'm like, oh, it's just like Papa's house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I'm, 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 I'm still a young man, except for my, I, um, although I've got the, the I, knees, of, knees of a 90-year-old, uh, but we won't go there. Um, yeah. <laughs> the drummer in a band I'm friends with actually has um, lights like that inside his bass drum and like all the shells are like uh, oh. clear, clear, hard plastic. It's amazing. Really, that's, that's cool. cool. Really yeah. good idea. To play as well, so my dad says. As, but um, yeah, no, it's awesome kit. Uh, my dad's just gone and shell out tons of money on a new drum kit. Mind you, guys have got to have a look on the photos on our Facebook. It's beautiful. <laughs> like actually, actually, with these new LED lights that are available, you can light up anything you want. Like people in people in Toronto are lighting up their kayaks with LED lights and kayaking on Lake Ontario with LED lights in their boats. Yeah. Wow. It, it just makes the whole boat blow. It's cool. Yeah. I, I don't have anything in here that's not LED. I think I'm being lit by the, <laughs> the soft box oh, yeah, LED. Yeah. I've got a, my fill lights here is LED. I think all the computers are all LED. <laughs> it's like the, the TVs. I have, there, an, yeah, I have like a, a neon, I have a neon light. <laughs> I like that. I like that neon light. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cute, right? I got rid of. My, I had Christmas lights strung up over all my stuff when it was Christmas time, and then I took them down when it wasn't Christmas time. So yeah, yeah, but I, you I, have some the, really pretty instruments, so the, that's okay. The one time my wife watched the show in like the longest time, she's like, "You can take the Christmas lights down now." I'm like, oh, "Thanks, hon. Like, Did you like the show, <laughs> or were you just too busy looking at the Christmas lights?" Yeah, shut up, baby. Look at the pretty lights. <laughs> don't don't ever let me drink rum before doing this again just don't hey <laughs> like, we're not responsible for your sobriety sorry that's on you <laughs> i'm off the wagon <laughs> well only because you ran out of rum yeah all right <laughs> <laughs> why has all the rum gone because yes. i drank it because i drank it last yeah. night <laughs> 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 Oh. So, Angela, what what have you been keeping busy with in the last six months? We've, I think we've we've curb stomped Adam enough. We'll give him a rest. Yeah, well, really. for the last thirty minutes, I've been listening to Adam talk. <laughs> 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 but that's okay, Adam. I like listening to you talk. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's been uh, a lot of fun creating the content with the Invisible Song Club, and the fact that it's been COVID. And we've been able to get a group of people together um, in a song club atmosphere, sort of like a book club atmosphere, and everybody have input and talk about music. It's like, these are my people. These are, you know, the people I want to talk to. And we're all, we've been very isolated. So it's really nice to get together with these people and, and do a little show every couple of weeks. And it's created some great content for yeah. me. Um, I literally have done nothing else. I just, you know, do the song club and it's, it's great. And we've, Mark and I um, have really, you know, improved it since we first started it. We just kind of started it like, oh, we don't really know what we're doing. We'll ju we're just going to talk and we'll see how it goes. And, uh, you know, we've, you know, I, then I decided I was going to do little intro videos. Mark created more graphics and started adding graphics to the show and, you know, it's just like really turned into something that I'm proud of. I really love it. And I can't wait until after the summer when we get started with it again. And, uh, it, you know, it's just, I, I'm very happy, obviously, because I'm going on about it. But the, <laughs> the two months, the two months that we're going to have off for the summer, besides going to the cottage and swimming and just freaking relaxing, which will be nice. I'll, we have very short summers here in Winnipeg and it'll be nice to just enjoy it. But beyond that, I can think of other content that I can create for Oh Just Eat It and other things I can do. I mean, the original plan before COVID was I actually bought myself a GoPro camera and I was playing with that. And my plan pre-COVID 
was to start going to um, venues and interviewing people who owned bars and venues or managed venues and um, and interview bands and start like really interacting with um, the music scene here in Winnipeg and then maybe even traveling and interacting with musicians in other places. And I kind of had this plan for YouTube and it all got blown out of the water. So, so the Invisible Song Club was great. And like I said, I'm very proud of it. It's been fun. Yeah, actually, I think that um, just comparing the, uh, the the early shows with the the, uh, the, the more recent ones, um, and I've I've been forced to do that because I had the idea why don't I take my scripts because I uh, yeah. um, in the last half or so um, I was actually writing detailed scripts and reading the scripts out, and I thought well I'll make those into uh, blog posts and we can stick those as a, just a little bit more content, so, uh, so something that artists can link to if they want to um, take a quote out of the. Uh, um, take a quote from it, that kind of thing. And as I'm going yeah. back, and I realize the further back, as I go back, my notes are less and less detailed. And then the first show, I literally had like a po- like a couple of postcards with just a couple of key points, just a few words. So I'm not, I won't be releasing those as blog posts, but <laughs> they was just just the <laughs> way now. I'm, I'm, you can I'm go to, you can go to Fiverr now. and get someone to type it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, you can use the I, Google Translate. Well, the, no, the, right, the Google, right, right. Uh, the, the Google um, closed caption. The also closed generated. Captions. Those are hilarious. <laughs> uh, those notes might be worth a bit one day, though, Mark. They might, yes. Yeah. I, I, I've if been that, saying that. If that musician becomes a star, then where will you be? Yep. Probably right. here or, uh, on, or, on YouTube. Or somebody from like some nothing. channel <laughs> somewhere decides that you know somehow stumbles upon our show and says, "Hey, these guys, these clowns should make it." Sure, have great chemistry together. Let's give them a real show, and then 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 it'll be worth money. We could sell them, right? Hmm. <laughs> no, hmm. I, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't drink either. That's- <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go to the uh, comments, quick. I- let's let's go to the comments, quick. Yeah, yeah. uh, I've uh, kind of I know I've missed a few, and uh, Chris apparently is all all upset that I can't read the comments. Um, and I did see your comment about. Um, the, the, you've read, you've read uh, my book there, The uh, Godfrey Fork and the Secret Society of Tumblers, Minstrels and Thespians. And he says he enjoyed it. So thanks, Chris. Uh, I have missed a lot of the chat. So, uh, um, and it's really difficult to get in because Adam was just talking nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, had, Adam had good content. We don't need to pick on Adam. He did, yeah, he did good. Right. Yeah, indeed. No, yeah. no, no. no. We, so we I don't, don't know if you guys... have to pick on Adam. <laughs> we want to pick on Adam. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody just posted a... Uh, a novel. Oh, Shalim, okay. Oh, it was Shalim, of course, yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to read that later. Um, <laughs> that's a long one. Oh. There we go, everyone had the same reaction there. I wish I could find the go. comments he's looking at. There we go, here, I found it, finally. There we go, Oop. Everybody still there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I just, I just yeah. froze a little bit. Okay, good. All right, hopefully it was just me. Shalene oh, had a Al- dream Alna. that he met KK Downing. Like, awesome. <laughs> I have to tell uh-huh. you, Elna said she um, loves the song club. So I kind of already knew that. But thank you, Elna. That's very sweet. Oh, I keep disappearing. My camera's playing up tonight. <laughs> well, you're invisible. You're an invisible man. It's the Invisible Man Show. I wanted to ask you guys, Mark and Ryan... Um, if you're going to play any music today, because I absolutely love All in the Mind and, uh, you know, especially when you guys create theme songs, like the song that introduces this show um, and the song that int- introduces the song club. It's like, it's so good. Are you going to play anything? I wasn't planning on oh, it. Mark, give us a tune. Well, I can do. Give us a tune. I haven't, I haven't uh, rehearsed. Give me a sec to decide what I want to do and I'll uh, definitely play a tune. Yeah. Okay, get my mics uh, all set up. Um, if, if it would have worked out, because I, I was actually good. Big news for everyone is uh, everyone for the last probably four weeks has been uh, on me. Ryan, 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 when are you going to get to recording your parts for for the CD that has been teased for the last blah 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 number of things? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you good news. We laid down a couple of tracks last night. We've got more time booked to do it. Um, there was sort of a loose plan. Uh, Fingers crossed if it, it would work out. It just didn't that I would make it over to Mark's. If I was over at Mark's, we probably would play something together live. But um, unfortunately, it just it just wasn't in the cards today for me to get out there. 
uh, you know, having small children and all, you, you can't commit to anything. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, God, I've disappeared again. Oh, my magic's all going, going all over the place. What's going on? <laughs> okay, um, Mark just does I'm a little prepping. spinning head and, and he fixes He's, everything. Mark's just, Mark's just yeah. getting ready, uh, getting ready to, to play. So uh, in the interim, what else is uh, – so off to the cabin and uh, writing more for just – oh, just eat it? It's, it's uh, not a cabin, it? honey. It's a cottage. Oh, yeah. oh, it's cottage. a it's okay. a summer house, yes. All right, all right. Forgive me. Is, <laughs> is there really much the of a difference it's there, though? Is there really much of a difference? I, I'm from Toronto. We don't call it a cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that I think is, is is and that's a particular. I think that's a Manitoba thing because you you, you go to like <laughs> some guy who who like lives in like some small town Winnipeg or Manitoba it comes you're like, oh yeah yeah we're gonna go out to the cabin there. Uh, it's in the uh, Lake of the Woods, right? And uh, so you got to just take the the highway down there and uh, yeah you go to down there and it's it's great yeah it's just great don't worry there's like a little down there you get like a Tim Hortons and some coffee uh there's uh, <laughs> a bunch of like a bunch of stuff to do uh that's but that's where we like to go bunch of stuff to do to, to, to the cabin <laughs> that's I got a, a complex there's a, there's, a there's a guy there's a guy on TikTok and he does this shtick where he's like um he does the voice from each province and so they'll be talking about a subject and he'll say, you know, how your provincial uh, neighbor will speak about whatever topic. And then he does the voice for Manitoba and the voice from Alberta and the voice from Vancouver. It's just so funny because he's right. He's absolutely right. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, there, fella. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like people who ain't from England think there's only one kind of English accent a lot of the time, you know? Like, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Like... I speak with a, almost a combination because, like, part of my heritage is up north, part of my heritage is kind of Bristol, and part of it is a little bit London. Like, it's oh, so you're totally a mutt. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I, it, I've never been called it like that, but yeah, you, you pretty much got it in one. Um, but it, it's like I, I've met like people from down south who they've met a scouser, like from Liverpool, with a really strong scouse accent. Can't understand him cannot understand him <laughs> at all or then again i i can't understand a lot of scousers like proper scousers anyway like there are some with a little bit of a i'm from liverpool sort of scouse accent and you can understand them fine you know but it's the really thick ones you know like the older generation people who lived there their entire lives rarely left the city know nothing but speaking that kind of accent and, and oh god i just can't understand them yeah well, I remember, here, I remember here it's watching... more mannerisms too, like right, right, Ryan. Like it's oh, yeah, there's it's... a lot of mannerisms involved in the location. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of... Fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I've never been to Canada. I mean, me and uh, me and my girlfriend uh, want to go out to Disney World in Florida, um, hopefully next year, right? And uh, the way we're going to do it actually connects through uh, Toronto. <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to see if I can fix it up that I can blast out into Toronto for a few hours and like have you guys come meet up with me and then jump what, back on a plane. What, oh, okay. what month is that? What month will that, that be? I have no damn idea at the moment. It's oh, okay. Because I'm going to be in Toronto that? in October. So ah. that would have been cool. Well, the, the here, month here's I the big finally thing. got the money. <laughs> yeah. Tor- Toronto, Toronto is easily, if we're going to drive it, it's 24 hours from, from Winnipeg. If you want to oh, fly, it's three hours. Don't, it's don't, that- don't, w- don't worry about coming to meet me if it's a 24-hour drive, mate. Seriously. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> a plane you are, flight. Here you are whinging and, whinging and moaning about, about a two-hour drive from, from Bristol to, to Manchester. <laughs> we got a, a three-hour flight. Otherwise, it's a 24-hour all drive. All right, all or, right. I'll consider or myself shave off. If you want to shave off that and you want to make it there in a little bit less time, you just cross the border and go on the States and then drive along the interstate and go back up and you shave off about five hours so fair it's only enough. 19 <laughs> fair enough i i didn't it's, think it's that was probably faster it's probably faster for us to meet you in florida actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah we well, you know probably fly direct to florida just go straight down yeah <laughs> uh-huh. uh yeah yeah no but we we want to like try flying business class the only affordable business class uh that we could get was um going via toronto it was an air canada thing yeah, because um, it's an international airport. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah true. Mark, what are you going to play, bro? Well, I thought I'd be a really uh, original. 
And uh, since this is the season finale, I was going to play The Invisible Man. Hey! I've never actually heard you play this live, I so yeah. Sorry? Okay, well, ladies you can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, all right. We have done it on the show Mark, a few ladies times. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark David Stallard. <laughs> Uh, well, I've done the show a few times, but I, I just uh, don't think it's been that very, that often. But uh, here we go. You need to make yourself the center. You need to make yourself center screen. Uh, am I not center screen? No, you are <laughs> now. Am I not? Okay. Maybe I'll take that. Take the tuner off. It looks bad, and it uh, it always falls off halfway through and puts me off. Here we go. The Invisible Man. I'm blocking off the comments because I get distracted. Here we go. <laughs> Every day begins like the one before. Hoping that today you become something more. I get so nervous as we pass in the hall. I cast a smile. But you can't see me Why don't you look at me? I try to be as open as I can Why don't you look at me? I'm tired of being the invisible man The invisible man I sit at a table in Old cafe, gazing through the steam of my hot latte. Doorway frames your stunning silhouette. I say hello, but you can't hear me. Why don't you look at me? I try to be as open as I can. Why don't you look at me? Pulls up the driver, helps you in. You glance my way before you step within. Cyan eyes shine in the cold setting sun. I wave goodbye, but you look through me. Why don't you look at me? I try to be as open as I can. Why don't Loving it. There we go. <laughs> well, well done. Mark, so Mark had all our cameras off, but we, we had the sway going. Adam had his <laughs> yeah, lighters yeah, out. Totally. So, oh, yeah, Muttley, you your lighters were, out, right? Yeah. yeah. Muttley, you were absolutely correct. The lighters got out, so there you go. And hey, uh, we got If you guys do get the gig over home, here, just... if you guys do get the gig over here, you better play that for me. Come on. <laughs> of course. Well, totally. well, I'm definitely coming. It's just a matter of... Uh, so, much. But uh, I don't know Ryan, if me and Ryan. And Ryan and Mark, you you have a video for that, correct? Do you have yes. a video? Yeah, we released it. Um, yeah. End of last year, we released it. I think we played it on the show. It's available on the Invisible yeah. Man Show YouTube channel. Go check that out. Uh, there's a I think there's a playlist for uh, music videos. Go. If you can't find Excellent. it, uh, so you me. should you should submit it to New Music Nation. Do you guys know what New Music mm -hmm. Nation is? No, please do. No, do but I'm writing it down. 
Okay, so so have you guys heard of Ed the Sock? Do you remember Ed the Sock? The new music? <laughs> yes. I love said, Ed the Sock. He said, new music, shit the bed. Anyway, <laughs> he has created this really ugly logo and a new uh, site that he's called <laughs> New Music Nation. And he's inviting musicians to submit their videos because they're going to be starting up soon. And he's going to play Canadian videos on New Music Nation and, and promote Canadian music. So totally send in your stuff. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I would. I would. Hey. That would be the highlight of my career to get insulted by Ed the Sock. Like, I know, I would, right? I would love that. So growing <laughs> up in uh, in Canada, much music. The U.S. had MTV. We had much music. Ed the Sock was this video host, and it literally had this smoldering cigar stuck in his mouth. And my most poignant memory was probably right around. It probably had to be right around the early 2000s because I was in college and um, uh, the there was like some sort of a, award show. And of course, oh, the fromage. He always did the fromage, uh, the, fromage the cheesy yeah. awards, right? And so he yeah. was going on and on and on about Justin Timberlake being the recording industry's uh, equivalent of tofu, a pasty white substance that is infused with other flavors to make it more palatable. <laughs> like, it just, it I know. So, he, like, he was so brilliant. good. Yeah, and he's still he's still doing brilliant. he's still doing podcasts. He's still making videos. You should check him out on YouTube because he's got some funny shit going on. And now he's got the New Music Nation. So what he did was he raised funds so that he could like make money creating a show. He he's got I think four different DJs. Do you remember Erica M? All mm -hmm. the boys loved Erica M. Anyway, he has four new DJs, so uh, you can check out the website. It's New Music Nation. And he uh, has been inviting people to send him videos, and he's going to start this up very soon. Oh, nice. So, awesome. um, Mark, yeah. Mark, you have a photo of uh, Ed the Sock that you can show to Adam and I our guests. Uh, he, he already oh, he, did he, just he, now. He put it up just now. Up I'm totally did he? Sold. Okay, cool. I'm totally yeah. sold. I've got to check this guy out. That's Ed the Sock. <laughs> And like I'm not joking, like this is this is as close as I can make his voice to be like it's something like yeah, so like this is somebody who's been smoking his cigars too long and he can't even talk and all gets forced out through the bottom of his mouth because his nose is all plugged up. That is exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> so now everybody knows. Oh man. And the sock. Oh, he's the best. Yeah. Yeah, but you you know what needs to happen? I totally need to contact Ed the Sock and like create his British cousin. <laughs> Ed, what Ed, you what, what do you call you him? Like, Betty, Betty Bloomer or something? A, like... a big cigar and a like Winston, uh, Winston Churchill cigar and a freaking scotch. And a, I say, Adam, I say, oh boy. Or, or is it one of those you you that idea? Go or is it going to be one of those really long like c cigarette holders and like some gin? And be like, I say. Yeah. How terrible was that? There's absolutely oh, that, zero. That, 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 that death metal tune was bloody marvelous, old boy. <laughs> yeah. Adam, it would be fine because copyright uh, copyright laws are very regional. Um, so Canadian copyright laws for Ed the Soft probably wouldn't have anything to do with you. You could do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me now. <laughs> Indeed. It wouldn't be the same anyway. It wouldn't be the same. It's very Canadiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah but all I'd have to do is create the, like, sock puppet and just crack down here, like, hello, everybody. Like, I, can't, I can't even make it work with my camera, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, but it, it, to, to be honest, most of my shows just me and some musician and, like, Mark and maybe my dad sometimes just, chatting crap for an hour anyway yeah. so i thought you were the sock pu puppet <laughs> <laughs> it would explain a lot i don't think there's nobody's no no, no listen he ain't nobody's puppet nobody's putting their <laughs> hand up his ass unless he's unless he's paid them to do it so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay and on that cool. high note uh, yeah. uh, there's, there's a bit more movement on the balcony uh, let's see oh. i should have known that i wouldn't really like this show what with me being a Capricorn and them being terrible. <laughs> there we go. I don't know, we let anybody in. We let anybody in, don't we? <laughs> in, in more, in more uh, local um, music promotion news, um, you guys, uh, those of you who are from Winnipeg, you know about um, uh, 
uh, oh shit, what's it called? It's the um, uh, live at the Rosalyn, live at the Rosalyn show. You you know about that, right? With uh, the village idiots who are an award-winning group of people who promote music um, and the arts um, here in Winnipeg. And so Live at the Roslyn has been an ongoing show that's been really great promoting some local music that is just like, they, they did a stellar job. Just fantastic. I love it. And uh, so Riley Saunders on Facebook posted that he's moving from the Roslyn. He's the host of Live on the Roslyn. So he's moving from the Roslyn. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Like, yep. what's, what are they going to do now? Well, who knows? <laughs> <Not sure. Yeah. laughs> um, okay, well, I think we, yeah. we've got the last 10 minutes. I think that it would be, this would be a good time just to uh, we'll do, do a bit of a round table. Um, I've got some plans for the future for the for the show, uh, Ryan and I want to spend over them. I think together in private on Thursday. Good. So we'll talk about those yeah. last. But uh, maybe start with Adam and then work around to Angela. Um, anything that you, any plans that you, you that you have for your show for the Madhouse or for the Song Club? Something that maybe that uh, you'd like to try or an area you'd like to improve or you you think that we can work on? You know, obviously, I'm involved in both the shows to a degree. Um, Adam, the future uh, of Madhouse. Well, uh, Angela, you take this one first. <laughs> All of you can talk. <laughs> no, I'll take I'll take the floor. Um, well, I just like you know I've been making the intro videos about uh, basically what I do is I take the EPK or whatever I can find online about a band. Um, some bands really um, shit the bed, as Ed Sock would say, when it comes to writing about themselves and describing themselves, and then I have to like take what I find online and rejig it and make a little intro and. I just use whatever visuals I can find online to do, to do that. that. A few times. I've had to yeah. do that a few times. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's hard. Like, I wish people would get on board with the writing properly about themselves. Do you know that I, I came across a band one time and I was very, I liked their music and I was very curious about them. So I wrote to them and asked them for a bio. And they told me the music should speak for itself. And I'm like, okay, I'm never speaking to you again. We can't be friends. Yeah. We can't be friends. Yeah. Right. And like, so, are, well, are they literally stuck in the 80s or something? I don't know, but I don't even know who it was anymore. I wiped them from my memory bank. <laughs> so, that sounds a lot like that one artist that Mark was had shared with me. There was I don't know if he was going to be a guest, but he was he was whinging and moaning that he did he couldn't get anywhere, and his music was like the best ever music and here he just sounded like some breathy yeah. hipster like music you know, like the song is like this and it's like the same four chords oh, like yeah. you know like yeah. you obviously just learned how to play an a, a minor seventh and like just come on man like you know it, yeah. it's all right but it's not amazing yeah. well like, which you could also maybe even get away with if you actually knew how to promote yourself but if you don't do that either then yeah. yeah. No, you, but, um, your music is right. never going to get to people's ears if you don't promote it. It doesn't matter how good it is. Yeah. Uh, there is what, 20,000 new, is it 20,000 new tracks every month appear on Spotify, something like that. I mean, but it, it's, it's tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands a year. Yeah. I, I forget the exact number. The only way you're going to get above, but anyone going to recognize you or, or hear your music is if they're already a fan or if you put it in front of them. So you've got to make an effort. Yes. Yes, that's a very small window of people yeah. you can touch. And yeah. I'm always telling musicians, get a manager. Like, just get a manager and let them do the work for you. Because mus musicians generally don't have, like, they're not multi-talented where they no. can do graphics and promotion and book their gigs get and a, do all of say, it. Like, Get a good manager. You know. Um, and I'm going to shout yeah. out to Ron Campbell, who is a um, uh, Jennifer Mlot's manager slash agent. Uh, he's been an absolute joy to deal with. Uh, he's actually promotes he doesn't just uh, promote the show where she's on she actually help he actually helps promoters from time to time as well um and clear, to be honest everything's, Jennifer's everything's, awesome everything's, awesome everything's anyway. professional it's all yeah. straight down the line there's no um there's no hidden language it's just you know, you're just talking to it's just straight talk and we get it all done it's all business so ron campbell if yeah. you watch this now or you're watching later good man we we'll love you yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I'm glad we had um, a chance to do that. That's nice. In fact, uh, you know, to turn it on its on its head, one maybe something for uh, for upcoming shows, or maybe something on the song. Maybe you should invite him on either the Madhouse or or uh, Song Club, and just uh, take his perspective and say, hey, here's some things that uh, you can do, or what you should look for in a manager, or that's those not kind of a bad idea. 
Yeah. Oh, or even, no, for, uh, even, for, uh, even for even uh, for even for Invisible Man show. That would. Uh, that would yeah. Work. Yeah. yeah. All of the above. Might fine, even ask yeah. my manager Andy to uh, come on and do a similar yeah, thing. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah. No, as far as the uh, Madhouse stuff goes, um, I took a week off this week to kind of recover from the festival. Um, but uh, back business as usual from next week. Well, next week isn't entirely business as usual. It will be after that. I've got some awesome guests lined up. Um, but next week will actually be a special report on the Download Festival pilot that I filmed while I was there. Um, got a couple of great uh, short artist interviews while I was there. Uh, two of which were, uh, sorry, three of which were playing. I got an interview with Massive Wagons. I got an interview with Stone Broken. And, um, oh God, I'm trying to remember who the other one I got was now. <laughs> uh, was um, with Sister Shotgun as well. Um, and uh, I, I actually flipped the whole thing on its head as well and interviewed um, a lot of people who were just at the festival about why they need live music, really. Um, I will admit, you're going to see me a little bit intoxicated by the end of that video. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, it, it's all in kind of chronological order. And by the time I interview Stone Broken on the Sunday, I'm trying to be animated because they're one of my favorite bands and I really want to give it a good show. And you can sort of see my drawn face. You go, oh, God, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that will be uh, next week. Um, I'll be uh, taking questions on anything you see there. Uh, I, I don't often do pre-recorded stuff, but obviously I was hardly going to be able to go live from download because uh, you try using your phone up there at all, and there's so many phones fighting for the same signal, you just get nowhere. Uh, um, but, I, I, uh, told, I told you before the show, Adam, but I'll, I'll say it again, that I have really been enjoying Welcome to the Madhouse. Like, it's really good. Like, I, obviously, I don't know any of the bands that you're interviewing or any of that music because I focus on the Canadian stuff and, and then, you know, all uh, of the, well, that, you know, the radio play here. That's but the, I don't. That, that's the yeah. point of it, though. Yeah, I know. And that's the point of my show, too. Like, I, yeah, I want I want to introduce the Canadian music. So the exchange that we're doing, you know, introducing each other to new music is just fantastic. And I love your show. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah like I, I've tried up in the production value, values, like, to a bit more like what Mark um, manages to pull off with this one. Oh, I remember! Hey. I remember your early shows where you were you were just fumbling all around with the streaming service. It was, it was, <laughs> oh, I was feeling sorry for you. So <laughs> oh no, no, no! It, it it was mostly like any week where Mark couldn't make it, he'd get a call from me about half an hour before going like, "Oh, Mark, this thing's broken. Yeah. What do I do?" There was there was lots going on in the background for sure. Yeah, oh, we yeah, we, no. we can see we can see your nerves in the early shows, but you you got it <laughs> yeah, now. But, You're but okay Angela, now, Angela. I mean, give me a break when I get two of my favorite guitarists ever as my no. first two episodes. Okay. Right, and I, I'm trying to not go <laughs> through the whole interview. <laughs> I'm trying to act professional, but like um, I remember CJ Wildheart uh, said to me a while back because um, we keep in touch. He, he said. You did really well, but I could tell you're a rabid fan. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I, like, literally, I, I think Mark will even remember, like, because um, Mark, Mark's there trying to be, uh, it, like, be an ultimate professional because he doesn't know who the bloke is. Right. Uh, and I'm just there, like, hi, CJ. How are you? <laughs> I, I've done that myself, yeah, for sure. Uh, Oh, dear. It, 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 it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. <laughs> like, um, oh, I, probably um, probably the weirdest one I've ever had, though, was uh, Bitching Hour. Now, I, I'm not going to go into quite why, because uh, it, it's not quite suitable for this show. But just go back and watch the Bitching Hour episode, anyone that's watching this. Um, it, it, and, oh, Jesus, if if you need if you had a bad day and you need a laugh, watch that episode. All right. <laughs> uh, it gets wrong on so many levels, but like it is the madhouse. Like I I, I don't temper anyone. 
on you know it's, it's just it's crazy okay right my turn um so for the for the new stuff what i'm uh I, i'm kind of reviewing my the way i review songs so uh i'm kind of working on that um i think that i can do it a little bit dif differently that can be just as uh, accurate and not necessarily as long so i'm definitely working on that um it's not gonna happen tomorrow but so you'll have the same long one but i I've, over the next four weeks i'm planning on uh, kind of working on that a little bit and just working on my my review skills um but now the big changes though is going to happen on the invisible man show shalim has i just was quickly skimming through shalim's uh, novel that he posted and i think i'm going to address at least not directly uh, the comments but i might address many of them uh is that um we are going to move away from the hour-long um, interviews. Um, if we do have an interview, it'll probably be pre-recorded and it'll be edited, and it'll maybe a, it'll be a short, maybe five or ten minutes. Um, I'm not finding those particularly uh, exciting to do. They were they were fun to start with, and when we had our first uh, um, non-English speaking guest, um, was it um, Vanilla Bass were on from uh, Spain? That was absolutely a big one of the biggest thrills. Um, just knowing we were reaching that far. Uh, but after a while, we end up asking the same questions and then we're struggling a little bit to make it fun for the whole hour. And then we started getting them to play live music. And some will and some won't. And it just becomes a little bit of a chore. So I think that we still would like to get as many different bands on. And uh, one of the things that Shalima said, said has something to the effect of be a little bit more discerning on who you'd have on. But that's not the point. The point here isn't to pick on people that I love. Um, for the Invisible Man show, it's just we want. I want to. We want to build the the musical um, uh, community a bit, right? So this is about uh, oh, uh, just um, ex expanding everybody's horizons. Song Club is about the songs we love, and to answer your, one, your question, there, every song I've suggested, I've loved. Okay, so if you don't yeah. like them, or Me you don't too. feel like you feel, yeah. don't feel like you want to buy them, that's fine. And I said that all along that at least one of us loves this one of the at least one of us loves one of the songs, right? Um, yeah. So, uh, if you don't like them and you don't think they're up to snuff or whatever, that's that's cool. That's the the, the point is that we're bringing you um, the music that that we love. Yeah. We discerning, discerning is a very personal thing, uh -huh. right? <laughs> mm. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, we can we do discern. <laughs> yeah. From our perspective, and we're not all going to like the same yeah. kinds of stuff, um, and we might discover. Uh, um, so I said, tune in next week, uh, tomorrow for the song club, and you'll find out what we think about the the songs the other has picked. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because it's all about us. No, it it's is. not it's actually. The song club's about the the song club's about the song club, like the club that we've developed with the audience that we have, um, and we we are taking suggestions from the song club. Like we really want to hear from you guys. I'm very picky that the song that I introduce um, at the song club show would be Canadian. Like it has to be Canadian for me. Mark um, can go anywhere in the world, Thank you. but um, we're listening to you guys, but you know, if you introduce a song to us and we think it sucks, then we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, well, that's it, right. It's um, uh, that, that, well, that's always been one of the provisos, right. It was just, just because you, uh, you post it, we can't guarantee what we're going to do it, but one of us has to like it. And if it's an yeah. international plus, one, plus we I, have, I to, have to like it We have it to enough. create a calendar. Yeah, we have to create a calendar too. So mm -hmm. um, we still have songs that we're going to be introducing after the summer that you yeah. guys have suggested that we just, you know, we haven't had time to do it yet. Yeah. So there'll be more yeah. up and coming. Indeed. I have, Mark um, and guys, I have a bikini waiting for me. Um, I'm going over to see some Tell friends and swim in, swim in a swimming pool. <laughs> on this very hot Winnipeg day. No, wait, 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 hold and on, hold And I have on, a brand wait, new wait, wait, bikini. Wait, 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 wait. So bikini. What I color need is to it, get Angela? out of here. <laughs> 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 it's red and white, and I'm well, well, out of if here. Well, you, if you're saying you've had enough of us and you want to leave, go. We don't want you. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. right. well, you, <laughs> I've, you had, guys, I've had it all. I've, I've had yeah, all I can stand, and I can stand no more. That's right. I can't talk to you guys anymore. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. Thank you very much for inviting me to the uh, finale right. of the Invisible Man Indeed. Show for the season. Indeed. And I look forward to you guys next season. This is a lot of fun. And Indeed. I love Indeed. talking to you all about my favorite subject, music. Indeed. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Later, okay. okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Have you turn this thing off? <laughs>
I don't know. I don't oh, know. No, how how do you turn this thing off? Oh, button. Oh, yeah, I guess button you found it. Right. There we go. Uh, um, yeah. And just a little bit more. There are the changes to come for the show. Is that we're going to take a, just a little bit more of a, a magazine approach. And what I mean by that is there'll be more defined segments. It's not just going to be an hour of of a, of a conversation. We'll have some some news, international. Um, and national and local music news uh, uh, as it comes up we're not going to be talking about everything in music uh, news because that would well that would, we would never talk about anything else would we um, but we'll pick out some highlights we'll we're going to do some uh, um, uh, we're going to do some, lots of shout outs I'll have uh, lots of um, uh, find out what our previous guests and musical friends have been up to as well we'll be talking about some of that stuff um, maybe even looking at some of the, the videos they've produced and um, I think one of the, the big things I'd, I want to do is we're going to be doing and I'm, this is what I'm most, most excited about this child as I am is we're going to be um, presenting the Invisible Man Show weekly awards so one or more musical <laughs> musical acts or someone in the music industry is going to get an Invisible Man Show award which comes with no money whatsoever, but uh, lots and lots of bragging rights. <laughs> lots of bragging rights. So that's going to be a lot of fun, and we are going to make it as fun as possible. Um, you might find that some of the awards are a little ridiculously specific, but you'll find out what I mean in five weeks when we come back. And uh, yeah, we'll also be some. Uh, I'm working on some graphics that you guys can download as well. And uh, to answer Elna's question from uh, um, earlier, yes, we will. If you would like to. Um, Use uh, the Visible Man show logo for T-shirts and everything. Please feel free. Uh, we'll try and make those um, graphics available for you. That would be great. And um, really appreciate uh, you supporting us. Um, if even though we can't sell you a T-shirt, just we're not in that position. But you can um, promote the show by wearing your own. That's fantastic. Um, so nice. I haven't been. I've kind of missed. So that's some of uh, Shalim's concerns. And I'll read that. Read the rest. I think. Uh, um, I will get back to you in private there, Shalim. But I think that what I saw, what I skimmed over, they seemed really quite level-headed and, even, and reasonable. And I'm probably going to um, um, probably going to implement many, if not all, of your suggestions there, Shalim. Um, I just don't want to say, uh, just want to say quickly, Mark. Yep. Um, obviously, these two have been doing the whole Invisible Man thing for quite a while before I came along and stuck my crazy boot into it all and i really do want to thank all of you that have been watching welcome to the madhouse since uh when did we start it was december wasn't it yes i think so yeah uh, yeah because i was time, yeah. i remember suggesting well let's start in the new year fresh you get no we do it now before i chicken out <laughs> oh, that wasn't what his exact words it but pretty that much was, was that <laughs> the, no, the, thing is, the thing is i'd already messaged some people and they were like oh yeah get us on as soon as possible i was like yeah don't give them any time to like th actually think it through <laughs> push him out the door there you go congratulations uh, you're on stage let's go <laughs> but but yeah yeah thank you to everyone that keeps making welcome to the madhouse such a fun time every wednesday it's not the usual sort of thing i would have ever thought of myself doing but uh it's been a whole lot of fun um some of it's got to the point where i'm just like ah what's going on here <laughs> but, but like yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, season two is going to run up pretty much until the start of August when I go on tour. And then I'm going to line up a load of new interviews while I'm on tour and crack on again when I get home. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, and on that note, we um, the Invisible Man show, it will be off the air for the next five weeks. I'm going to take a break. And we're going to be working on, excuse me, I'll be working on the uh, some of the new segments for the show. And... Um, I, uh, you know, some some of the awards I'm not going to tell you we're not going to be handing out physical awards but there will be awards that you can see I bet you can guess what those, what those would be um, and I just want to just let Sheldon know I think that uh, um, putting the South Africa time zone in the promotional is a good idea I'm going to do that anyhow <laughs> um, and I know I've missed a lot of ch lost in the chats um, Chris Lady I, th I can't remember if we shouted you out or not so hi Chris <laughs> Um, I'm sure somebody has uh, mentioned a comment, but I, um, yeah, I think we're good on that. We, we we'll be done. We're back August the seventh. Um, we're going to try one of the new. And I'm not. I don't have a guest on for the first show for sure, but we do have two full hour interviews coming, which, which are already pre booked. Um, was a bandwagon from the UK and uh, Rob Frank. They, these are, these are already booked, and we just put them off. So, but after that, those are going to be the last full full-length hour-long um, interviews that we, we're going to do. 
And Song Club is on tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central. Um, well, you can work out your own time zone. It was 9.30 in the UK. That was an easy one. And um, <laughs> that will be the last one for two full months. We won't be back until September for the Song Club. So this is get the Song Club, watch the Song Club tomorrow because it's going to be two full months of no Song Club. Um, okay, I think I've said everything I need to say. The rest of it's Mad House, back on fun. Wednesday. Indeed, Wednesday. Uh, all, going, all going well. I should be on there and, and everything, but uh, we'll let everybody know. So, um, I'm getting distracted by the chat. That's why I cover it up when I play the songs. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you haven't already, please like the stream, share it with your friends, family, or your enemies if you didn't like it. I'll share it with your enemies anyway. Maybe I'll put them in a good mood and they'll like you. Yeah, more. maybe we'll get a fan. <laughs> maybe we will. And then you realize these are these are good people because they like good stuff. I'm rambling. It's time, I think, to go. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we will catch you all tomorrow for Song Club next week. Sorry, five weeks for the Invisible Man show and on Wednesday for Welcome to the Madhouse. Thank you very much, everybody, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Cheers, all. Well, thank God that's over. Now we can disappear. Not literally. Hey, your clothes ain't supposed to disappear as well. Are you still here? Ah, I hate it when he does that. I'm going to put a bell on him or something.